major Bakayo Saka update, major update from Pep Guardiola and what's going to happen with the Manchester City team. I'm going to give you my predicted 11. I'm going to talk about all the updates for the injuries and let's get into it on Arsenal News today, ladies and gentlemen. First things first, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get this show started, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen, we finally got an update on the whole situation with Bakayo Saka, if he will be available or if he will not be available. Today, we found out that Bakayo Saka, yes, he will play versus Manchester City. He is now, The Daily Mail have reported that Bakayo Saka will be playing, and not only will he be playing, but he will be available to start. Uh, against Arsenal, this is this is uh, great news for uh, for the Arsenal team. Everybody uh, knows how important Bukayo Saka is. Personally, for me, I don't think they would have risked him if they didn't do all their due diligence and do all their checks beforehand. So this is very very good news for Arsenal and the boys. Now, um, just to let you guys know, report Bukayo Saka reportedly Arteta said in a press conference the other day. Arteta very uh, promised that Bukayo Saka fitness ahead of the Man City game. At this moment in time, he doesn't know. He didn't know what was going to happen about 24 hours ago. But we got an update. I think it was last night, just before I went to bed, that Bakaya Saka will return to the team. And he trained, he, he practiced yesterday. And Samuel McBell uh, was, I think, the person who reported it uh, just a couple of hours ago. So I'm going to show you guys. Uh, he said Bakaya Saka is clear to play against Man City despite the injury versus Manchester City and Samuel McBell is quite reliable so I do trust that this is a reliable source and I've also heard some rumors and murmurs about Martinelli but before we get on to the Martinelli stuff let me give you guys all the news on the whole Bakaya Saka story so this is it's not only that they have uh, cleared him to play for thing the England and Arsenal are trying to come to an agreement on if he should be going to the England camp or not. So Arsenal and the FA are compromising on which we'll see Bakayo Saka rested versus Australia. And he most likely will start in the game against Italy on the fourth, on the 17th. Personally, for me, I don't think he should be playing for England at all if he is injured. But of course, if he plays for Arsenal against Manchester City in such an important game, England in, in 10 days' time, they might be able to still play him on the 17th. Now... This is what the report said uh, yesterday. Uh, he said that England and Arsenal are deciding after the clash whether Bakayo Saka will continue on his international duty since Arsenal would benefit from him having the international break off regarding the injury that threatened his involvement against Manchester City. So now that he's going to most likely play against Manchester City, it does look like it's going to be a situation where... Uh, it, sorry, you guys couldn't see that. It does look like it's a situation where he most likely will now... Get the get the time off uh, for for about ten days, and then he'll play the game against um, he'll play the game against um, what do you call it Italy on the on the seventeenth of October. Now there are some other rumors in regards to what's going on ahead of this big game, and most of those rumors are right here. So let me just show you guys what is being spoken about. So first, we we have people speaking about potentially where Kai Havertz could play. I think with Bakao Saka potentially being back in the team, I don't see Kai Havertz starting in the midfield. If I would see Bakao Saka, Kai Havertz, and Jesus up top, makes maybe more sense than Kai Havertz playing the midfield. In this game, I think the midfield is going to be uh, Partey, Declan Rice, and Martin Odegaard. That is going to be my midfield, ladies and gentlemen. But let me know, if Kai Havertz does start, would you guys start him at striker? Because it's basically between him or maybe Eddie Nketiah or Trossard. What is going to be your front three? We're going to have to talk about that later, in, a little bit later in the video. Um, also, there was uh, there's there's talks about uh, several things. So, will Partey get recalled? Bakao Saka's decision, and of course, where Thomas, where Declan Rice will play. But the main thing that everyone wants to know about is. Will Bakao Saka be fit and available? It does look like he will be fit and available for this upcoming game. Now, will Tom Yasu also play? Uh, I don't think Tom Yasu plays for Ben White. If Tom Yasu does start, I think Tom Yasu would start for the likes of 
Zinchenko in this game. He wouldn't start for a thing. And Emma Smith Rowe is definitely not going to get an opportunity in this game. This is too big of a game for him to get an opportunity. But we definitely do want to see more from Emma Smith Rowe after the international break. Of course, this is another major story plot that we need to speak about. Um, reports coming out that, of course, not only is Bakao Saka's injury, uh, injury uh, situation getting better, but Martinelli's might also. And Martinelli might actually be on the bench for this game ahead of the big clash versus Manchester City. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I've re I read up on this uh, a little bit earlier. So they said Bak uh, Bakao Saka we already read about. Thomas Partey. By the way, guys, he he has uh, sustained a groin injury, if I'm not mistaken, and he's been off for a while, but he was involved in the game against Lens. He was on the bench, and this might mean that he might be able to expect it to start this upcoming game. Gabriel Jesus has no injury or anything like that. He's okay. Fabio Vieira has fully returned uh, from his injury also. Just to let you guys know, Leandro Trossard is, uh, has returned from his hamstring injury and played in the last game versus Lens. And... With Gabriel Martinelli's situation, he does have a hamstring injury. Optimistic that he could be available versus Manchester City. It doesn't, they don't confirm 100% that he will be, but he could be. And of course, we already know about Timber. So there's no need to worry there. That is a situation going on with the injury situation at Arsenal Football Club at this moment in time. Now, there are some injury situations with Manchester City. So let's let's see what the injury situation is with Manchester City. Where is it? Here we go. So Pep Guardiola, Pep Guardiola has his own problems. Pep Guardiola has his own issues. Pep Guardiola has his own problems with his own team having injuries. I'm gonna just I'm gonna, I'm gonna just uh, tell you guys what those injuries are in a second because Pep Guardiola is gonna have to figure it out, and Mikel Arteta is also gonna have to figure it out. Is Arteta gonna be able to outsmart Pep Guardiola for once? We're gonna have to see what happens there. But we know that Pep Guardiola has spoken about his big injury issues. Manchester City have some big issue, uh, some big injury issues with Kevin De Bruyne being out, and of course the red card of Rodri is gonna be forcing them to have to decide on what they're gonna do. They also have uh, very reliable John Stones, who's also out for them in this upcoming game. So it could be John Stones might be out. Uh, what do you call it? Rodri might be out. And, of course, Kevin De Bruyne might be out. In addition to that, they also have the fitness of, uh, what do you call it, uh, Bruno, uh, Bernardo Silva coming back, from, uh, coming back from injury. So he most likely will play. But he is coming back from injury. So we're going to have to see how he does. But, yeah. The, the the main thing is Stones, uh, Rodri, and Kevin De Bruyne. I don't think Stones is going to not be in the team. He might be on the bench, but it's a situation where we're going to have to see what kind of team Manchester City ends up going with uh, on the day. That is that is the truth. We're going to have to wait and see what kind of team. Do they go full strength? Do they go weak? How, uh, uh, actually, they, they're not going to go weak. Every team that they play is, is quite strong, so that's a silly statement to make. But here is what they're projecting uh, this team to be uh, on the upcoming weekend. And I don't believe this will be the situation that they go with. Um, but here we go. Let me show you guys what is being projected by FootMob for what the lineup could be on the weekend. This is the projected lineup for the weekend by FootMob right now. Um, they're, pro they're projecting this based off lineups that they've seen over the last coming weeks. And I'm looking at this lineup right now, and I'm just saying to myself, it doesn't breed. What, where where'd it go? Sorry, this is what happens when you're doing stuff in one take. Um, but here we go. So I don't trust this 100%. So Arsenal, we know the back line is going to be the same. We know that midfield is going to be the same. I think he will play Kai Havertz over Eddie and Ketia because he played Kai Havertz in the Community Shield over Eddie and Ketia. I think he might do it this game because we're facing the same opponent that we face in the Community Shield. And it did work quite well with the long ball out to Kai Havertz. Now, for the Man City side, I think their back line is going to stay the same. Galvardio, Akanji, Diaz, um, Kyle Walker. But the only difference they could make is maybe put Stone somewhere in this team. Um, Luis Di uh, Luis, uh, Rico Lewis, I, I don't think Rico Lewis will start this game uh, next to Kovacic. I think it might be Mateus Nunes. Uh, Mateus Nunes and Kovacic and it might actually be Jack Grealish over Daku but everything else I think it will stay the same so maybe two changes to, uh, from this team and maybe one for Arsenal but pretty much spot on on what I think it's going to look like um, you guys know obviously I'm a Gunner. I'm always going to back the boys it's going to be a tough game 
But uh, I think we're going to win this game 2-1. And I'm very optimistic to Baka with Bukayo Saka's uh, availability in this game. And of course, Thomas Partey's availability in this game. But if we look at if we look at the fixture history between Arsenal and Man City, we just always lose every time. Every time we just lose to these guys. So I think the last time we beat them was in 2015. If you guys can check right here. There you go. Last time we beat them was 3-0. Uh, community, no, not Community Shield. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there you go. 2-1 at the em at, at the Emirates. Bro, it's been a long time. We need to we need and we beat them in friendlies, but friendlies don't count. We need to do this just for our own mentality sake. And if you look at the team's form going into this game, Manchester City did draw did lose to Wolves last week. So they are a little bit more vulnerable than than they are than before. So we need to capitalize on this opportunity. This is going to be the best opportunity for Arsenal to capitalize and beat Manchester City. I hope we can do it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If we can do it or if we can't do it, let me know what you guys think. And I'll leave you guys with this. Would you guys start Kai Havertz in this game or Eddie Nketiah or Trossard? What would be your front three? Also, do you think uh, Martinelli... Is, is going to uh, is going to have a big part to play in this game because he potentially is going to be back also. And for Manchester City, with the injuries and the players that they have out, could Arsenal beat them this weekend? Because even with their injuries, they're still one of the best teams in the world. So it, it is going to be a it's, it is going to be a difficult match. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out of here, people. Love for the love for watching the show, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Love, peace. Mm -hmm.